and welcome along and welcome back to furling we are heading down to the shop in the xylon today because we're going to get the field of sugar beet harvested uh we are gonna only do this this year we're not looking to do sugar beet going forwards and i think that we might uh have pretty close to the best price for sugar beets at the moment uh, i i think it's it's not far off so as we don't really have anywhere to store it down at the farm uh we will get it uh we'll we'll get it immediately sold we'll, we'll take it and sell it immediately i've just had a thought uh we've got standard tires on here and we're we've got a direct harvester so let's customize this tractor and we are going to put narrow tires on the xylon so customize that that is going to cost us a thousand and we'll then just move this forward and out the way so that when we buy anything it it doesn't sort of spawn anywhere near it or doesn't stop it from spawning is the other thing and it should spawn about there i think let's head into the shop and the beet harvesters I've chosen for this, which are age appropriate, are this set. These are the Alma Salmon uh, beet harvesters. They are bought from 4D modding and can be downloaded from the Air Agri website. I'm going to go with the mid one of these. I'm going to go with uh, the Beaver Twin Row. And it's got quite a lot of configuration options. So I'm just going to go through these, set them, and we'll go through them once I've set it all up. And now that I've set it up, uh, I'll go through it. So we've got BKT tires. We've got the standard ones. We've got all the pre-1999 guards. Uh, we've got the closed UK design, which is on this side here. Uh, we've got the soil roller. We've gone with the leaf deflector options. So that will deflect it straight down behind it. Uh, we've got the extension option three, uh, which doesn't change how much it holds at all. Uh, we're going Almond Salmon, Armour Salmon branded. Uh, no visible dirt options. We've got the long draw bar, so it's nicely out from the Xylon. And uh, we've got the manual discharge body color, guard colors, link color, and the toolbox color. I've all left default. The only color I've changed is the rim color because I, I quite like the, the wheels here in the yellow. And so we're going to lease that. And yeah, we'll lease it for 1,513. Yes. And we'll go pick it up. So there it is sitting waiting for us. Now this will directly pick up the crop from the field. We don't need to top it first, which is very useful. It means we don't have to spend money on getting a topper. Uh, we can just head to the field and get that started. And uh, I think this is going to be a very good setup, these two, to, to get this all done. Now, if this isn't too difficult, uh, if we are able to, to get this to work without uh, much hassle, maybe we'll look at doing Sugar Beet in the future. Uh, for now, though, it's it's only a two-row harvester on this Age of Equipment, and I, and I think it's one of those things that could take us quite a while to do. So uh, we'll see how today's goes and we'll see how profitable selling all this sugar beet is. But uh, if, it, uh, if it is, then that might be an avenue for the future. For now, I just want to try and get this up and see how we do. So let's turn this on, drop it down and away we go. Yep, immediately picking up. And this reminds me an awful lot of doing that carrot harvest uh, while we were on northern farms. Run, run around the headland and a little bit and we're full. I've had to come back in this way and we're going to have to reverse out all the way to get this emptied. Uh, because it's uh, otherwise we, we have issues with the trees. Not the easiest thing to reverse, as is normal, actually, with offset bits of kit like this. So let's go grab the trailer. And if our trailer didn't hold a full capacity of the corn, I'm fairly sure we're going to have to empty on a pretty regular basis from this. We'll pull alongside here. 
and see if we can get it to empty out now into our fence uh open that up okay finding out where we are in the right place that is that is tough i'm so pleased that they didn't immediately fall out on the floor because that would have been a real mess to clean up just get the trailer underneath and get it to discharge there we go into the trailer they go and all of that has gone in let's have a look at this yeah 42 percent full so we'll load up again in our harvester and uh, and we'll see where that leaves us and soon i hope i'll be able to actually uh, be emptying out on the field rather than having to back out and find a separate place for it uh, but yeah this is uh this is pretty cool i like this piece of kit i've been wanting to try this for a very long time and this is the first series where we've really had the opportunity to have a go with it we're coming up to 96 percent full yeah it's really quickly it catches up so i'm gonna head over here and unload this i think then we're gonna start cutting into the field i have been trying to do headlands uh but it hasn't worked out the best i bring this right up close here yeah like so and then unfold it there we go it's not close enough this is the thing because of where it is kind of feels like I have to go and uh, get it in there we go so yeah right up close to the other tractor is where we need to be and then empty out not the easiest thing to do this definitely feels like you have to stop and again wow we are not full are we up to max we are not up to max on this trailer so uh a little bit more i want to see how much it will take to get this filled so the side that this on is that one let's back this off and we should have enough space now down the left hand side here to get into the middle of the field and start doing a racetrack setup on this i think and that way well turning that way is not the way i want to turn i want to turn to the left sorry to the right all the time because that's the way this turns the most easily i think you have to go and uh and come out of the field to empty this because the way this whole piece of kit is set up is exactly around that so let's turn it on drop it down and yeah we're gonna do a racetrack setup and hopefully that will make things easier and i am very very pleased that i put the care wheels on this tractor uh it makes an awful lot of sense having them on there we are just about full again yeah but there we go right so back down the other end we are going to try and empty out as much of this as possible into the trailer now can i fold this in i can fold this in while i'm uh, driving so this might be the best way to do it each time and we'll start that going up because then we can get closer to here we are up goes that much closer to the trailer and then should be able to empty it out won't take too much did that fill the trailer yeah so i swear i have not taken the trailer fill limit off but uh this will take a full trailer full of sugar beet um but won't take a full trailer full of corn so as i said at the start we are not going to be storing this we're going to be selling this straight off uh supermarket and sugar mill is the best price show price fluctuations 266 is the absolute best price 247 is what it is at the moment 
So that's actually not too bad. Uh, where we're going, I don't know. Oh, it's behind us. We need to turn around and head back the other way. The sugar mill is in the uh, forests behind the farm. Just up the back here, and I think that's not the turning into it. This should be. And I think we could own the sugar mill if we absolutely wanted to. I don't think we'd ever make... Well, yeah, we'd need to own the sugar mill and the... Uh, and the actual uh, bakery in order to make cakes. We've got all the ingredients otherwise. Oh, 80,000, though, is at way out of our price range. So, yeah, we'll just sell this off. We'll see how much we make from this. Uh, I'm hoping our environmental score is too horrible at the moment and it might give us a bit of a boost. And that's all we can dip in there because it's a production. I know it is taking the rest. Yeah, and then a little bit more. There we are. 26,195 is what we're up to. Uh, I'm not sure the sugar mill was is paying us, though, particularly well for those last two lots. So, um, yeah, has the price dropped? No, sugar mill is still paying 247. Money we've made off sold products today is 2,777. That seems low for 17,000 meters. And in fact, there's still 461 liters in our trailer. So at a quarter of this, we should get about 100 pounds for this. Let's see if the sugar mill is giving us less money. And there we go. 114 nope that is the right amount of cash so yeah we have got paid correctly for that it's just uh not a huge amount in fact no this trailer does not hold 17,000. i think this holds around about or just over 10,000. so yeah i think we got paid about right for that i am very pleased that we got the corn done before we started on this sugar beet uh, it is uh, quite a big turning circle we're taking. We're heading down and uh, getting these rows done. And it means at the far end, uh, we're ending up with a, uh, a quite the pickup uh, or quite the turnaround and having to go into the cornfield to do it. Not too bad at this end where we have a, where we have a good set uh of uh of space but at this top end we are just clipping the side of the cornfield all the time without having you know done multiple rows of headland uh this is running much faster though because of that and yeah you can see with the space to turn around in here that's very very useful and down and in and down yeah for all the visibility distractor I can't see the point at which this is uh, lifting the, the beat. I'm having to take it by uh, a little bit on faith that I'm in the right place. I think I've just about worked out where my best position to get the most efficient uh, lift of these sugar beet are. Uh, which is slightly annoying because, of course, it's taken me quite a while here to work it out. And I'm just now trying to make sure that we've got the right curve going around. But yeah, it's roughly a uh, a rose break down here. So looking at this, that is pretty much perfectly aligned with where the mudguard is. So if the mudguard on the tractor is lining up with the row like that, uh, we're in a good place to get a, uh, a nice lift here. And in fact, yeah, the two rows that are getting lifted, basically are the two rows running into the mudguard. So we line everything up. We get the mudguard in the right place. And we run down here. 
and then if I look at this from the outside you can see we're really nicely lined up that is unless we get full in which case we need to fold everything in and then head over to our trailer and this will be our second load so we should get about another two and a half grand off this that will be just a, a, a really good amount uh, off each trailer here and this actually should build a trailer and we'll leave the harvester here empty the harvester again and go from there i'll be intrigued to see how much is left in this time last time it was only about three thousand liters this time uh it's 1144 so that is very good let's uh head out with the doits get this tipped still got a fair whack of field to get done today so into the sugar mill again and we'll see how much they'll take at a time just leave it all tipping yeah, it seems to have or it seemed to have a maximum amount last time this time it is taking all of it so i don't know if i caught it with my finger but uh 2889 that is a really nice amount and uh yeah the 2cv doesn't suddenly stop in front of me that would be very helpful back up to the field pull alongside we we might make ten thousand off this field i think which would be a very nice amount which is trying to figure out that might be a similar sort of amount to what we are looking to make from the corn of these two fields as well so to me that's very interesting uh from a time point of view that makes the corn better for us because it's a uh, a much much more efficient way of doing things and now we've got rid of the thousand liters let's turn this back on oh unfold the harvester turn this back on yeah and down and away we go and yeah we've got a little bit of an overlap row on the other side and this side is definitely thinner than the other one so uh, that is going to be fun when we get towards the end of this field this is going great now we've got into it we're really getting through this fast and filling up the harvester fairly quickly we're gonna have another full load any second there we go so we'll fold the harvester in make it easier for us to get alongside the trailer and empty out another lot and this will be our pick the load off the field i want to say uh, it is a decent number of loads we've had up here uh we've had we had three off the first two into the second so yeah this is this is our sixth load off this field and uh we're still going by that it looks like we're gonna get another two trailers off here maybe and getting that much off here will um will mean that we make about 10 grand today maybe uh maybe a little bit more uh which is awesome absolutely fantastic uh makes me very happy that that this field is paying off this well uh yes it's only about well it's about a fifth of what we bought the field for so uh you know already that is going to make a difference and maybe next year uh, once we've got this field turned around we might be able to make even more out of it unfold this turn it on drop it down and back to it this is fantastic i 4d modding has done an awesome job on this really is a fantastic beet harvester much so much easier than i thought a two-row beet harvester was going to be to use uh, it is just nicely lined up there's a good capture size for its uh, its harvesting block uh it's running on this xylon very nicely and uh is just such 
a joy to use and the animations are beautiful as well i mean if i can come in closely on this you can see all the the leaves coming off the back and uh you can see the uh sugar beet going through it as it harvests it uh yeah really really good attention to detail on this mod and uh, and i absolutely recommend it it is uh, it is on the air agri website uh, and there are different variations as i showed at the start uh, there are two other beet harvesters in this set uh, and also on top of that uh, there's also a vegetable harvester version of one of them as well so uh, I, I recommend going and checking them out they are brilliant and we have hit 100 percent just as we hit the end of that row so it's time to go and sell another load of sugar beet i actually have not ended up with a full trailer we're 94 percent full so uh, it could have taken a little bit more but i'm not going to go and do a whole load of harvesting more on the field uh, just to get a little bit for the trailer we'll go tip this and come back uh, the day is getting on a bit and it looks like we're going to be working into the evening to get this field out uh, but get this field out we should manage to do and our third load is worth 2708 which isn't surprising seeing as it wasn't a full load and there goes that 2cv again this is why i don't plan to do uh, sugar beet beyond uh, this field uh, simply because it does take so long to do it is 20 past five uh, we are into the last bits of this field but i reckon we've got probably two or three full harvesters still to go here uh, let's see how many rows we've got on this side so with two four six eight and 12 rows so six more passes at least here and i'm pretty sure we got more passes to go on the other side uh, yeah we've got many more passes than that to go on this side you can see we've got tons more rows over here we might have to try and take some of uh some more off this side if we've only got that many passes but uh the interesting thing is of course that we are uh, in a place where that is going to be multiple loads off this harvester. I think we're doing, I think we're doing based off uh, of that about twenty percent, thirty percent a row. We're on seventy-one percent now. Let's see where we are at the end of this row, and uh, and then we can uh, estimate fairly well exactly how many more loads we have of this harvester i think it's three including this one uh, we're already 10 percent at this point and coming into the bottom corner of this field we are getting at okay we're getting 15 percent a row just over so that's 30 percent once and back so we're only managing once and back three times or just over three times before we get a full harvester uh, so that's six times and a bit per trailer and that's uh yeah well might, this might all fit in this trailer if we're lucky this is the last row down this side of the field bar a little bit of cleaning up to do uh, as you can see there's three rows here we're only picking up two and uh and that yeah just a little bit of cleaning up to do here and then on the other side we still have quite a large amount of beet left in the middle of this field so we need to clear this up as well stick the wheel there and yep yeah, that should do it and uh then that's this field done it is 20 past six though so i think we're gonna be maybe another hour hour and a half on the field uh, but you can see there we've got another full harvester and this uh, this comes close i think to filling our trailer again so i'll see where we are 
bring us up alongside and tip it yeah there's a fair amount in this trailer already 42 percent no this isn't gonna fill it uh we should be able to get at least one more load it's gonna take it close though 84 percent yeah there's still some uh space in that trailer so what we'll do is we'll fill up the harvester again and actually go back down this side here if we can't trim a little bit off here down and in and then we can come back up the other side and clear that off not many rows to go the final row on here there's just a, a couple of little bits and pieces around the field but not enough to make a huge difference uh got a little bit up the top here that we probably should just back up and grab oh we're 100 percent full though so uh i think that's it uh, well saying that we've got we've got a few patches around the field uh, not all of this is going to fit in this trailer i think we're gonna have uh maybe three thousand three odd thousand still to tip so uh, we might go and see if we can pick that up. Uh, but certainly this has been a pretty profitable day for us. On here. We are, yep, 3,000 litres left. So what I'm going to do is rather than immediately go and tip that, we'll go and clear off the rest of this. And then we can go and sell everything. Put it on. Grab the few bits that are still kicking around on this field. Just top things up a little bit. See, there's 155 uh, liters just off that. I think everything else is done. So yeah, let's uh, let's just bring this up onto the side of the road here. We can refill from here later. Hold it all up. Right, let's let's take this back over here, and then we'll tip this trailer full of sugar beet into here. Make a bit more cash off this. I don't think we could have turned the ten odd thousand we have in here into sixty thousand. In fact, we couldn't even earn that amount. Interesting that that only took just over half of what we had in the trailer it's almost as if it was full but all good another we're up to thirty-four thousand. that has been a very useful thing to have done this today we've uh, we've made a decent amount back uh, i think next time we're probably gonna have to concentrate on getting some silage made for the cows it's our last chance to get a cut of grass in before the winter. Uh, and to be honest, our fields, we can get them up to spec over the winter and uh, prepare them for next year uh, once we've got that grass cut done. So uh, next time I'm going to be doing that. We've got another 3,000 odd litres to sell off. So we're probably going to make another 750 pound off this uh, which is really good um but it's quite dark now and we need to head off so while i load this up all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye